guys this is Kim from my feather nest welcome back to my channel and welcome to episode number two of what's the junk in my trunk all right let's just go ahead and get on to it I'm starting to lose daylight so I got to get this video out to you guys quick so let's go ahead and let me show you um, and this is gonna be completely random because it's in my trunk and I'm just gonna kind of pull it out and show you so I found this cute little shabby chic style birdcage clock thingy. <laughs> um, it was only $2.99. I absolutely love the colors. I love this shabby chic -y type of, um, you know, print on there with the pretty florals, if you guys can see that. The bad thing is that it is actually missing probably the hour hand. I probably will not even re remotely worry about that. Although I'm sure if I looked at Hobby Lobby, I could probably find a replacement. It is of course battery operated, but I bought this thinking about um, one of my porches. The fact that it's only $2.99, it's okay um, to put stuff out on the porch that may be exposed to the weather just a little bit. It's a covered porch obviously that I'm thinking about, but it's still gonna be exposed to the weather a little bit. So this is what I was thinking about when I got this a really cool book um, this is Reader's Digest it's Jesus and his times but it was only a dollar 25 and I homeschool my kiddos so I thought that this would be kind of something really cool that we could look at to learn a little bit more um, about Jesus um, and kind of like I'm hoping that it's gonna give us maybe a little bit more history maybe on some of like the places that he actually walked um, I didn't get a chance to really look at it in full detail but what I did look at I liked what I saw so I, I, I mean, you can't beat an educational book. Um, it's a nice quality and it was only $1.25. Um, one of the colors that I'm using in my family room and pretty much throughout a lot of the house is yellow. I love yellow anyway. Yellow to me just screams spring and summer and I'm so sick and tired of winter. It's not even funny. <laughs> so I'm really wanting to use a lot of yellows right now. I'm needing some yellow pillows. They happen to have two yellow pillows at a local thrift store. They were only 95 cents a piece. They do need washed. I mean, they're not quite as big as I would like them to be, but until I find better for 95 cents a piece, Piece. can't go wrong speaking of yellow I always love to check out um, like the linens all of the the blankets the sheets the tablecloths the table runners all that stuff at any thrift store that I go into and the particular thrift store that I found the yellow pillows at as well as what I'm about to show you they put them in these bins it's kind of a pain because you have to really dig through but if you are patient um, and you dig through somewhat usually you can find some pretty good treasures Going with the whole yellow thing, I found this super, super long valance. Um, this obviously was a homemade cut type of custom valance. I'm not gonna show you the whole thing because it's so long. Um, but anyway, let me put it to you right there. Anyway, so look at this, you guys. It is so beautiful. I absolutely love it. It's got that yellow background, but then it's got, excuse me, it's got all these florals on it and the florals that are on it are done in a lot of the colors that I'm going with obviously green um, and it's got the orange um, it's got the blue but what I liked about it too was it has a um, the purple in it too which I just think it's so pretty it just screams to me spring um, the curtains that I have in the family room right now are just a blue and white check which they're really cute and I thought about changing them then it changed my mind but when I saw this I'm thinking I'm gonna change it just because it's so pretty and so different. So we'll see if that turns out right. But this is such a long valance, I'm actually gonna cut it in half to make two valances out of it for the two windows that I have in the family room. But I love it. And you know what? If worse comes to worse, I'll just turn it into curtains because it was only $2. So, um, I must have, someone must have donated a bunch of florals and wreaths and stuff like that the day that I was in this one particular thrift store. So of course you know how I love florals, you know how I love to make stuff, but if I can find stuff that's kind of already pre-made, of course I'm not opposed to that whatsoever, but also you can take those things that you find that maybe look a little bit outdated, you can always use the form, so don't ever be afraid to buy a great vine wreath that has flowers that look like it's from the 1980s with like that country 
pink country rose pink and that you know colonial blue don't be afraid of that because you can always take the florals off and use the grapevine wreath because it's a lot cheaper than going to places like Hobby Lobby and buying brand new but anyway um, and also florals um, you might like something about it maybe you want to change it a little bit to make it more unique to your specific taste so that's kind of what I did here um, I found this I loved the size of this and I loved um, I just I actually really like this floral it it really kind of the way it is it does need a little bit of help I see like obviously this pick right here is kind of coming out so I'll have to fix that um, but I actually like it I like the wildness of it I just think it's really cute it's got these like twiggy things it's got this like kind of like burnt orange color in it which is one of my major colors in my office area um, and I love the size of it it's not real big it's super cute it was three dollars and twenty five cents so I found some floral picks um, in this really pretty orangey pinky salmon -y color these were $1.99 and there's several picks in here I love this color they're not the best quality but for that price we found some orange calla lily picks these were $1.25 and it came with six of them so that's a really good deal because um, I think Hobby Lobby I buy a lot of calla lilies there and if I'm not mistaken they're either like two dollars or three dollars something like that and then of course when you get them half off but still this is by far a better deal oh I found this faux orchid pot um, you guys what I really liked about this was honestly the price it was a dollar 25 um, and although the orchid itself I mean I feel like it's pretty realistic looking I don't know if it'll portray that on video but the pot is more like a terracotta pot it's got the leaves are nice I, I just really couldn't believe that it was only a dollar 25 I just had to get this because like I said you know how I feel about faux plants and real plants I just love florals I just can't really hardly half the time get enough of them found this super cool um, it's like a um, a display for teacups and saucers I was with my friend Lisa over at Crepe Myrtle Row and I was like what is this and I kind of had a feeling and she's like is it used for little teacups and little hangy things for I'm sorry hangy things for teacups and then put the plates behind and sure enough we tried it in there and I was like this is so cute I've got to buy this because y'all know that I love some dishes and teacups and saucers are some of the, dis the dishes that I love this was three dollars and 99 cents and it's kind of like um creamy colored so the color of it's pretty nice found this awesome brass swan um, I don't like this fake ivy that they have in it, but the fact that it is a brass swan, you guys, this stuff is so, brings in a lot of money at like antique stores. Uh, matter of fact, I was in um, kind of like a consignment type of a shop, me and Lisa were, and it was a bit more upscale with a lot more interior design elements and stuff like that in it, but they, they had um, several different like swans and just different things like that, smaller like this, um, you know this brass but they were extremely expensive and I love stuff like this I really do so when I saw this and it was only four dollars and 25 cents I had to have it the brass I also found this brass pineapple mirror this was six dollars and 25 cents I think this particular thrift store I don't know why but they like to try and have higher prices on some things like I don't feel like this should have been six dollars and 25 cents but whatever it's still a better deal than if I would have found it at an antique store and maybe they have these things priced like that because a lot of times people come into places like this and they buy and they resell maybe they're kind of catching on maybe they feel like they can get more money and I guess it does support a good cause so whatever anyway I love this pineapple mirror I just think that it's so cute I love brass I, you know I don't know I think it's cool to a degree I mean I'm not saying that I would want you know I wouldn't want to go overboard with it you know within moderation people but um I thought this was so cute you can hang it there is a little hangy ring um but just super cute pineapples are just hospitality you know so I don't know where I'll use this yet but I love it so I picked up in that same bin with the yellow pillows and that yellow valance they had these so I really at first thought that these were pillow shams, more of like a, you know, a king size type of pillow sham. But the more that I looked at this, I finally realized there were two pieces of it and it's actually valances. Um, and you can see like there's the, you know, thing to put the curtain rod. Um, but anyway, these are so nice. They're like quilted. Um, the bottom is slightly like a scalloped edge, but look at the colors of this. Isn't this gorgeous? And that print is so 
beautiful. Oh my gosh, I just, I love this. Not sure how I'm gonna use this, not sure where I'm gonna use it. I may not ever even use it as a balance. I may just take this material and turn it into pillows or something, but I could not resist this. It was so beautiful. The back of it is a coordinating, like striped material. And if I'm not mistaken, I think, let's see, there's a the price. This was $1.25, and I think she probably charged me $1.25 for each piece. So for $2.50, great material, love this. Found this super pretty frame of, it's a floral print, but what I liked about this so much was the yellow matting. I've never seen a lot of um, pictures like this with like this like yellow type of matting. I don't know if that, that kind of looks a little creamish tannish on video, but it actually is a nice, buttery yellow this was $5.99 I found this super cute print it has bird houses on it um, I thought of um, more like either my potting shed or one of my porches the one porch that I'm wanting to do more of like a shabby chic style it was only $5.99 so because of that price and I'm not worried if it kind of gets, you know, slightly weathered or whatever. Um, I just loved it. I thought that was so pretty with the little bird houses and stuff on it. I was really excited about this next thing, although I think I paid too much money for it. It was $25, but because it was so unique, I went ahead and went ahead and got it. But um, come to find out after I got home, I realized that it was just from Cracker Barrel. So I probably paid <laughs> just as much for it at this particular thrift store as I would have at Cracker Barrel, but it's okay. So you've got this super cute little barn tray. It's got this super cute little hen teapot. I do have the lid for it, but I'm running out of light, so I'm trying to make this quick. So it has a little ma milk creamer that is a cow. Then it has this super cute little sheep, I guess, sugar, um, and which does have the lid and it does have the spoon, but I don't want to unwrap it now because like I said, I'm running out of light. But you guys, look. Look how cute this is. Obviously, think about this with the lids on, but isn't that adorable? I just think this is so cute. I just love that. And you guys, if you don't know, I do have chickens, so of course I'm gonna favor things with some of my uh, feathered friends on it. <laughs> uh, my feathered nest, obviously. Super cute. Okay, last thing I'm gonna show you, just because it's getting dark, I have a couple other things, but we'll just have to wait until the next What's the Junk in My Trunk um, episode. But anyway, I found this really pretty blue and white um, jar. Of course, it's got the lid. I mean, it's not like blue willow or anything like that, y'all, but I love some blue and white dishes. That's one of my things. Um, anyway, this was only $6.99, and because it's in perfect condition, I just could not pass it up. So anyway, like I said, um, the light, the light, I'm losing the light, y'all. I'm losing the light. <laughs> So that's all I'm going to show you for today. I hope you have enjoyed this What's the Junk in My Trunk episode. If so, please give me a big thumbs up. It really helps out my channel when you do things like that and when you just share and like and subscribe. Oh, what your favorite item is that I picked up today. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I will see you guys in the next video and bye-bye for now.